hey guys welcome to my channel and this is a really important video because I know that a lot of you think that getting to a research assistantship or a teaching assistantship in the first semester when you actually land into the country that you're going to study in seems downright impossible or a lot of people will tell you it's impossible I'm gonna tell you that yes it is 90% of the people do not get to that stage where they get funding within you know basically 10 days of stepping into the university or even sometimes you know basically getting funding before you even step into the country that the university is located in but that doesn't mean that you cannot be in that top 10% where you can still bag such positions okay I'm gonna tell you the right way I'm gonna show you that I've done it because I did it in my time I actually did started this during my late third year itself I believe that was in 2018 I think that was my fourth year yeah yeah fourth year so I started this late a little late which was my final year of my bachelor's and I worked through this technique in 2018 towards the end which was not a bad thing to do I mean my program was ending in like July 2019 but still I wish I had done it earlier and I'm gonna tell you why it did not work for me because I probably didn't do it earlier enough and I'm gonna show you the right way as well okay so if that's something that you are interested in stick around and we'll make sure that you get one step closer to getting to that research position or that funding position in this video all right guys now today I want to tell you about the exact process that I followed now understand this okay the process that I followed back then I was not really that good at it okay and I made several mistakes all right I'm gonna show you the basically the process I followed I'm gonna tell you that how it's wrong and I'm also going to correct it for you okay so that you can use the correct process and not waste time because I wasted a lot of time because I was just being stupid that's it all right so anyway let me just tell you the exact thing that I did okay now if you actually go on to any university's page let's say MIT for instance or Stanford you go onto their page and let's say that your field is I don't know construction management what you can do is you can go onto the construction management page you can find the faculty that teaches in that area so you know basically the professors the assistant professors you know all of those people who build that construction management branch of that university you can say you know and you can find their emails you can find their contact details you can find their personal website links everything over there it's all given there now being a computer science student back then what I did was that you know I thought hey you know what I know that I have to email them I know I have to reach out to them okay the easiest and the cheapest way I could find was email I thought th I thought all right cool I'll email them okay and I know I have to email them but you have to do the proper research right the better way to actually go about it is actually to go ahead study the projects that the professor is currently working on currently means right now not six months back not two years back right now the professor is working on a project and if that projects basically aligning with you you can understand what is going on you know you can understand the ways you can take it forward maybe you can bring a new perspective into the team well then you're basically almost in okay so first of all the right way would be to number one find out the professors that are working in the area that you are interested in okay so find out the professors that are working on projects that you know okay so basically even if you know 10 15 percent of what he's doing that's really good enough if you know more that's even better now that's the correct way you have to do it like that you have to find out their basically uh, the prof the right professors then you have to go into their personal pages okay now you have to read their research okay find the professor basically go into their personal pages read their current research read their past research papers okay you do all of that and at the end you will have a good intuition of what is going on in their research right now whatever they're doing in the research group you will be able to understand it you will have some perspective about it and now what you can do is you can basically reach out you know you can tell them that hey I actually read about this thing that you're doing um, I also read some of your previous papers here's what I understand here's how I think we can take it forward there's a new approach that maybe you did not consider maybe I'm bringing something new to the table okay 
or you can just say I'm just really interested in working forward with you you know basically moving this project forward and here's what I've done in the past which aligns with your research which aligns with your research that yes you know uh, maybe you have done something similar to what this professor is doing you know even if it isn't exactly the same but if it's you know similar that's good enough and you can tell that to the professor right you write the email and you send it to him okay that would be the best way in fact if I had to give you one more tip um, just one more tip that can make this even better for you that would be to actually not just focus on emailing but also towards maybe getting a virtual number and trying to SMS him or call him online there's a lot of tools which can which you can basically use to call someone on their mobile phone through your internet okay it's not exactly wipe calling but basically you would be using your internet and the person that you are calling will be using their phone okay and you can basically do that for a very cheap price nowadays literally it could be under a dollar for maybe even a three to five minute call okay and sometimes it can be even free if you check out the free websites so I think that that might be worth it you know call the professor and especially if he's you know giving his number on the website or SMS him that you're interested I think that would bring so much more impact like that just increases your chances I mean if, if you've done your research right if you've learned about his research right if you've created the alignment right I think calling him would be the best alternative if you know that you know you definitely want to go forward with this professor now it's all about building your network you know connecting with the professor um, basically getting to that stage where they would basically know you before you even come to the university okay and you should always do this in your target university if you want to go on to maybe I don't know John John Hopkins University find professors from that university itself and find the professors who are working in your area of expertise you know and then try to bring something new to the table I'm sure that no one would basically deny free labor if you're trying to work with him for free you might even get a name on a paper you might even get an LOR from that professor I mean there's literally no limit and that's what I tried to do as well but I tried to act over smart which did not work very well in my favor okay let me tell you what I did being a computer science student I thought hey you know what this page you know I told you about those listings right those directory listing pages where you can find all the professors in a department you know for instance computer science department construction management department whatever it is that you're looking for you go onto that page and you can basically you know find their emails their um, basically their phone numbers and all of that stuff what I did was I used web scraping web scraping is just basically like you can imagine that you know a bot will basically run your web browser and then it'll basically just copy all the details that you want from there so you can tell the browser hey I want to copy the email I want to copy their name I want to copy their website link I want to copy their phone number maybe you know all of these things and then it'll just do that for all the professors and it'll create a huge list I did this for about I think 10 15 universities maybe more I had like I don't know a thousand emails maybe and I emailed every single professor on that list I did not keep it very very general what I did was I can I can actually show you the email um, I gave a brief background of my profile and then I basically even you know tried to be clever took the link of that professor's um, personal website um, and basically I tried to paste this in the email that you know just to customize the email show him that I have actually read this web website you know checked it, checked it out and then I basically just mentioned some other things that you know this is what I am doing right now and you know I have some issues that I would like to talk about and maybe you know I believe that whatever I've been doing is very very in co coherence with what you are doing right now and I would like to move forward with it okay now I sent this to about you know maybe 500 or 700 professors um, and that was the mistake you see of course I'm basically I have a huge list so my hit ratio would be more you know professors not all of them are likely to reply but I was never really reading anyone's research so I think most of the professors just rejected that email because they're not stupid of course they get these sorts of emails almost every single day it's just basically trust me it's they are not stupid they can tell and a, a few professors were really nice they helped me out they actually evaluated my profile for me but the others did not bother replying and the good thing is as much as I failed I still actually won in a way you know 
I got a lot of experience. I did a lot of research that I was able to present present to you guys on YouTube. And secondly, I got three interviews. Can you imagine three interviews? One of them was from a professor from CMU. Second one was from JHU, um, John Hopkins. And the third one I don't remember. I wanted I wanted to actually show you proof over here. I know that you know. <laughs> Sometimes when I talk about these things, some people do not believe it, and then they you know, mention in the comments that you know, yeah, this did not happen because. So I always try to you know, even when I'm presenting my GRE scores, TOEFL, anything I'm doing, I, I try to show you proof. But in this case, this was done in 2018, and I think I actually might have cleared out some of my older emails, so I wasn't able to find it. But I was able to find some of these bulk emails that I sent, so that's why I have that on my phone. But I don't really have the professor's replies from everyone, almost, you know, not at least from those professors where I got the interviews. Anyway, if you know this, might if you if you think this is fake, it's perfectly fine. I I respect your perspective. I know that you might just want some sort of proof, and it's perfectly fine. You can disagree with me on that. But the methodology that I'm telling you over here, trust me, it will work. It will work for you. Okay, if not for me, it will work for you. And I got those three interviews. Two of them, I do not even know why, but I failed them. I probably wasn't able to understand what the professor was asking. I remember for, for in the CSU, uh, CMU um, interview, I was telling the professor the answer. For me, it was the answer, but the professor, I, I think he wanted to hear something else. And he was asking me the same question again and again. How do you do this? And I'm, I'm telling him, but he's not able to maybe, you know, we were talking about my personal project. I did one project on social media research. He was talking about that. But eventually, you know, I guess I was not able to, you know, really give him what he actually expected out of me in that interview. And that's okay. Hey, I, at least I got an interview. That's more than what most people get. And you can get it now too, because I told you the technique. So, you know, that's how you do it. Go on research and present present it to them, try to talk to them. And um, one more thing here, I actually even got to work with that professor from JHU, okay? It wasn't formally an internship, I wasn't getting paid, but he actually, you know, invited me to work on one of his projects. And guess what, he was from aerospace engineering. He was like 80 years old, I cannot name him. Um, he's still one of my LinkedIn connections, by the way. And I basically, you know, connected with him. I worked with him and he, he's really huge trust me he's written crazy huge books like you know books that people from the NASA read okay like he's doing research with people from NASA so of course I couldn't do much the research was about CubeSats if you know any of you guys are from aerospace you you might already know it I tried my best you know I tried to give him ideas I tried to you know um, basically present the research paper and uh, they were presenting it in a conference so I tried to you know basically do that convert that into a presentation do all of these I tried to design a poster for them you know so I wasn't really doing a lot of technical stuff because I did not know that I did I, aerospace is basically not my field so you know not much that I could do but I was trying my best you know giving them ideas basically doing everything I can just to you know get some credibility and I think the fact was that, you know, I was really, really, you know, uh, this professor even helped me out in my admissions process for free, literally. And the fact is that I was not able to kind of, you know, uh, basically stick with him long enough because, you know, my exams came in the way after that. I only did this for about two months. My exams came in the way and, you know, after that, I just started applying to universities. Um, so yeah, that happened. After that, once my ex uh, exams were over and I applied to universities, I think around uh, January, I was done with the applications. After that, I just did not, sorry. <laughs> after that, I just did not reach back to him. That was on me, hey. It was my fault, completely. So it's definitely, you know, something that you should consider doing. I hope that this video gives you some perspective on how to get it, but um, hey, it's very much possible. Trust me, it is very much possible. And if you have the willpower, you know, the number one reasons for professors not taking in TAs and RAs in the first sem, well, TAs is a different story. You need to have taken the course, of course. But for RAs or, you know, adding you to their research group, why they don't do it in the first sem is because they don't really know you, they don't really know your work. And if you think of it as a recruiter, you know, people who hire basically some other people, you know that, you know, it's a very short frame to evaluate someone, you know, you can't just interview someone and just take them into the team. You need at least one or two semesters to actually get through to that stage. That's why it happens later on during the process. But hey, it would be better than most on-campus jobs if you can get a research position with a professor. And trust me, a lot of people end up getting it. It's not impossible. So I hope this video helps you. 
Uh, I'm not gonna ask for anything over here. If you just, you know, enjoyed the video, please try to share it with some people who might find this useful. Okay, some parents maybe who might be able to educate their children on how to do this. But I think this is sort of like a really, really deep research that I've done. And you know, I probably forgot to tell you about one point in the mass email was done using basically a script and everything I was using variables. Don't do that. Don't really do that. You know, try to connect with professors in a genuine way. And if you really like the research, just give them a call or SMS them. You know, otherwise email them if you can't SMS or do any of that. It's fine, it's fine. But just try to be genuine, just try to contact them. And trust me, it'll do you wonders. If it does, the one thing you can do for me over here is comment down below. Tell your experiences to the people. So they will believe in this and they will also go ahead and do it. I hope this helps. Um, again, I'll see you in the next one if you have any doubts, you know, Instagram, if you want to connect with other people who are studying abroad, whyimgrad.com is the same story every time. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next one. We also added, by the way, a WhatsApp and Telegram group links. They're at the bottom. You can go ahead and check that, that out. Basically, you can join the groups, connect with more people. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching today.